Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name's Liz and this is Let's Get Liz Cool where we do everything card making. And today we're doing the March submission for my holiday card hijinks 2024 hashtag. And today's prompt was sweater weather. So I'm going to be using the MFT uh, sweater weather in the woods stamp set. And also my chevron frame cut file to make a like sweater pattern background. So I'm gonna do tone on tone for the background in this blue. This is from Michael's Recollections Collection in the 65 pound cardstock, which is usually what I use for my layering. It keeps it lightweight, not too heavy, and it's thick enough for me. So I like to use it and it's cheap. So what I did was I scaled my cut file down to four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to glue it onto the same color cardstock and then just trim around the edges before gluing it down. And then now I'm kind of like trying to place it, but I want the chevrons to be pointing downwards. So I had to flip it. I also made sure that my card was opening in the right direction because I've had quite a few times put it, you know, put your panel on the front and then you're like, oh crap, it's backwards or upside down or something. <laughs> So I usually try to check that before I put my panels on most of the time. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is stamp and color the little fox image. And then I'm going to use the there's nothing foxier than you in a sweater sentiment. And I will stamp that on black cardstock and heat emboss it in white. So I'll just play some music here while you guys watch me color. Okay, now that that's all done, we can finish assembling our card. I'm just trying to figure out what the layout is going to be here. Uh, if I had a little bit more space, I probably would have put the fox beside it because I kind of like it on that banner, but um, it's a little narrow for the card, so I decided to put him on top of the sentiment. And what I did here was I tried to get rid of most of the embossing powder. Sometimes, even with a microfiber cloth, I find that you don't get it all. Um, and you don't want to rub off the embossing that you did. So sometimes I'll just very, very gently use like an eraser just to get rid of the rest of it. This one, I have a black one. I've had it for years um, and it sometimes leaves marks on white paper. So it's good to use it on the black. 
and one of these days I'll find my white one that seems to be missing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna glue down the sentiment. I glued it like about an inch up from the bottom of the card and I offset it to the right side and then I'm just gonna pop the little guy up on some foam tape just for a little bit more dimension. And then after that, I decided it needed a little bit of bling. So I'm going to use Studio Katya Sugar Glitz Discs. And I'll just put them kind of up and around the fox, almost like it's snowing just over him. Um, but that's pretty much our card for today, guys. Uh, thanks again for joining me. I hope you join in on my hashtag. Again, it's hashtag Holiday Card Hijinx 2024. Follow me at... Let's get Lizical on Instagram and Facebook, and you will be able to see my submissions every month, as well as watch the videos here on YouTube. So if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what your thoughts are. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And I'll see you guys again next time. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.